Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I am, as my clients so affectionately call me, the Canva Queen. I help my clients be visually visible on social media as well as within their business with designs I create for them. And if they want to know a little bit more about Canva and they're struggling with it, then I am their Canva coach. Don't forget to like this video hit the subscribe button ring that bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video in today's video we're simply going to look at a couple of font mistakes that are very easy to make but just as easy to avoid as well the first one we're going to look at is using all caps in a full sentence or are actually in paragraphs of sentences now, although that is a very short four-line paragraph, see how much more difficult it is to actually read what is written there. But not only that, capitals are considered to be shouting in internet language, and it's, it's rude. <laughs> I mean, we don't like being shouted at, right? The second font mistake that we are going to look at is having everything typed in capitals as the previous one, but this time using script fonts. See how much more difficult this is to read? Sharing a whole paragraph of script text in capitals makes it very, very hard to read. Now the script font that I have used over here makes it almost easier to read. So keep in mind that the font itself should dictate how much of your text is actually going to be in capital letters or even shared as I've got done over here. The next piece of font mistake that we're going to be looking at is actually using too many fonts in one paragraph. The moment we use too many fonts, more than three fonts, three is the absolute max, you're confusing your reader. Not only do they not know where to start, they do not know where to finish. The eye has, does not have a natural progression to the conclusion of the design itself. So don't use too many fonts. It is confusing. Now, here's an example of using colors that are not contrasting well with one another. As you can see, the yellow does not show up on the whitish background. On the others, on the next one, the, using the yellow background, the uh, darker font shows up better. Even the script font works a heck of a lot better than using the yellow as the uh, font color itself. So the next one is not so much a font mistake, but it's more a mistake that is made within the sizing of the fonts that you're using. So avoiding runt words in a paragraph or in a sentence for that matter, when your sentence is going on over, over onto the next line. Now, a runt word is that word that is left completely on its own in a new line. So ideally, what you should be doing is making your text, your font size, just a tiny little bit smaller or maybe a little bit bigger, depending on what, you, what you've got in mind, or perhaps just stretching out the, um, the text block the text box so that your um, sentence runs in on a single line or two lines or whatever the case may be. So avoiding runt words, those are stray words, by reducing the font size or changing the margins ever so slightly. It doesn't need to be a big change. It literally can be just the tiniest of adjustments that will make that lonesome word not be so lonesome.
All right, so let's recap. We were looking at font mistakes that are easy to make as well as easy to avoid. The first one we looked at is using all caps for whole sentences. We decided, well, I told you <laughs> that it's a no. Using script, script fonts in all caps as well, also a big no. Keep in mind that not all fonts, all script fonts are good for writing long sentences. Then we looked at too many, using too many fonts in one paragraph. Stick to a maximum of two fonts in any one single paragraph. Three at an absolute push. Then we looked at contrasting fonts and colors. The contrast of colors and font size is absolutely necessary when it comes to sharing on social media, as well as that within your business. And then we also looked at runt words. Runt words are those single stray word that is left at the end of the paragraph or at the end of the sentence without the sentence actually, well, without the, the sentence structure lending itself to two or three words at the end on a new line. I hope this was helpful and I certainly hope that your next design is going to have fewer of these very easy to avoid font mistakes. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope I see you in my next video. All the best and take care.